What's up, guys? In recent videos, I will share something about beam steering, which is also known as a beam forming. Before we talk about how to do it, we need to know why we use this technique. We can link ourselves to the world using cell phones or other devices to receive signals from the transmitter, such as a base station. The receive the signals should be strong enough, otherwise the devices cannot successfully communicate with the transmitter because the noise will cover the useful signals. Fortunately, our pioneer engineers has proposed the phrase transmission formula, which described how strong the signals should be when they are successfully received by the devices. The phrase formula is quite intuitive. It inspired us and instructed us to increase the quality of the signal we can receive. In one scenario, if the transmitter radiates signals towards every direction, we can transmit a stronger signal or decrease the distance between the receiver so that the device can get a signal with good quality. But transmitted signal might be strong enough to destroy the transmitter or disturb humans in the radiation area. It is also a tremendous waste of energy. So we want the transmitter radiate a narrow beam pointing to the receiver instead of omnidirectional. We can accomplish this by simply increasing the antenna size or antenna aperture. Here is an example of large parabolic antenna which receives signals from the universe. It is a 500 meter parabolic antenna built in China rural area which is the largest parabolic antenna in the whole world. However, it is not feasible to build such a large antenna in every place. What's more, we cannot control the radiation beam to point to any direction. So in some institutes, they use bulky and complex mechanical device to control the parabolic antenna to point towards a specific direction. Here is a large parabolic antenna close to my home which receive signals from the satellite. But it is still too bulky and slow. We want the antenna radiate a narrow beam and control its direction by simple method just using low profile gears. Indeed, we can place a group of small antennas close to each other. The signals radiated from radiation elements can constructively or destructively combine with each other. So we will have a very narrow beam in one specific direction. Each element could radiate a wide beam because the signals cancel each other in other directions. All the radiation elements composite one antenna array. This can reduce the antenna size and simply control the beam direction by adding time delay to each signal. The beam direction can be precisely and quickly controlled by setting a proper time delay of the signals feeding into each radiation element. This can be achieved by signal processing. The distance between each element can also influence the beam direction. This technique has been employed in modern reader to scan an area and protect our homeland. I hope this video has given you some basic concepts of the beam forming. Thanks for your watching.